everyone it is crystal with pineapple papers and happy new year it is 2021 and i am so excited i think this is going to be a great year um and so i am trying to celebrate with a fun layout with some sequins from spiegel mom scraps so i thought that i would do kind of a travel layout per se because i have hopes to be able to travel again in 2021 so this picture is actually one my husband took um, of me when we were in vegas um, before the craziness started and so i was like you know what i want to make a crown <laughs> So I went on my Cricut and I went and I just typed in crown and actually this one was called like Liberty Crown and it was free. So that was exciting. So I decided to make a shaker pocket out of this crown. So I cut it out. I added some packaging and then I'm adding this awesome foam adhesive from Spiegel Mom Scraps. So I put that on the top and on the bottom, and then I'm taking some shine on and on sequins. Um, this is from the December release, and it has these amazing gold sequins and then some super fun gold stars. I feel like I don't have enough gold sequins in my life. So these are just perfect. So I did go ahead and back it with a pink star paper. And now I am going to add just some extra foam to the crown spike area so that it doesn't fall down. So there is my first part. I am using some of the Whimsical Collection from Paige Evans. And I have this rainbow paper and I did add a strip of that foam at the top so that it was the same height as the crown. Um, but the rest of it I stuck flat down to the page. So I am gonna take all the uh, adhesive or the paper backs so the adhesive as exposed and I'm going to go ahead and stick that down right on top so the crown is kind of that minty color that kind of goes with that top piece that is a minty color as well so now I'm going to back my photo I decided to back it in some yellow paper from Bella Boulevard and I am using the um, tape adhesive from Spiegel Mom Scraps as well. And I just did one full mat around my photo. Now the back, the paper, the, la, 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 the, <laughs> the picture was printed with a bite, white border already. So it's going to look like there, um, there is two layers, but there's only one. So now I'm going to take that foam again, cut it into a little foam squares, and I am going to add those super awesome stars that you can see to the left that were in the sequin mix, and I am going to pop those on top of my crown. And I love, love, love how that work looks. So um, while I am putting those on, make sure you head over to the Facebook group and Instagram. There is so much inspiration over there for you. And um, when you are over at the shop, if you haven't already, you need to sign up for the newsletter. There's so much to do um, with that newsletter. So it comes out every Sunday. And um, sometimes there is a free cut file. Sometimes there is coupon codes. Um, there's always some sort of inspiration. And sometimes she even highlights um, some of you guys. So um, when you post your um, things on social, your layouts on social media, make sure that you um, 
tag Spiegel Mom Scraps or use um, the hashtags of Spread the Sparkle. Um, what are the other ones? Spread the Sparkle, Create with SMS, and SMS Creates. So um, definitely use those hashtags so that we can see what you do. So in the meantime, I have only backed my photo in some foam and added a little cut apart piece that says love underneath my photo. And then I went through my stash and I grabbed all kinds of things. So this is from She's Magic. And I think the only thing that I get on there is just that little uh, floral piece down there in the left hand corner and then I have that Bramble Fox perspective that says Las Vegas um, so I thought oh well I'll pull in the Eiffel Tower um, but there just wasn't there wasn't room for any of that so I do kind of go with a tone on tone as far as embellishing goes so I'm going to find some pink and some yellow and some green items I did find a couple of, so that is a little sticker, mint sticker with stars. And then I found like a banner sticker that says being happy never goes out of style. So I went ahead and stuck that on my photo. And then um, I also, from the same sticker sheet, I found um, a tab that says star attraction, which I feel like the Statue of Liberty is always a star attraction. Whether you're in Vegas or you're in New York, you kind of have to like check her out. So from these little things, um, there is a piece that says hashtag love and then a little banner that says for real. And I think that's all that I'm going to get off of that. Nothing from this piece, even though I opened it up. I was really trying to snuggle something in between um, the Statue of Liberty and um, the Eiffel Tower because I glued this perspective down with Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive backwards. <laughs> so um, good news is you didn't have to watch that. Bad news is there's like all kinds of like glue residue so I'm trying to find something that can fit in there and I do end up finding um a couple of hearts I use this little washi sticker that has um some hearts on it but I do grab a uh it's a chipboard heart and it's pink so it fits right in there I'm going to add this little fun word up here and get rid of that weird little bird. I'm sure birds sit on that crown all the time, but he just didn't seem to stay up there for some reason. I do add a little butterfly up there by Star Attraction. And what else am I going to do? I think this is where I find the heart. Nope, definitely not there. I went through my stash, like, like tons and tons. And then Julianne was borrowing my, my pen. So she was returning it. So I am going to take this thinner, um, tape. And this is awesome. I cannot recommend this enough. So this is the tiny tape. Um, I don't know if it's an eighth. I think it's an eighth. So I laid it down in a line and then I am going to take the yellow sequins from the frosty evergreen mix and I'm going to pop that in my little dish and your line is already perfectly straight. And so I just took the sequins with my crystal katana and stuck them in a line to add some yellow items because I didn't really have any. Now, I will tell you that the minute that you stick these sequins down, they stick. So, <laughs> so try and just be cautious on where um, you are putting them. But um, 
Yeah, like they're not coming off. Like, I think that this tape, like, makes it stick even better than my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, um, especially for, like, lines. So this would be good if you wanted to do, like, a border in sequins or um, any sort of uh, straight-lined shape would be awesome. So that is going to do it for... Um, my layout. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I love to chat with you and make sure you head over um, to the shop. Oh, I think I need more sequins. Yes. <laughs> Three little sequins down here with my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. So in this frosty evergreen, there's kind of a grayish color. So um, there's two different sizes, so I did a big one and two small ones down there. And that's going to do it, I think. Isn't it funny how when you make a layout, oh, there's my heart, and I have to glue everything down because it's chipboard and it's not going to stick because that's, that's the way chipboard works. But back in the day, it used to stick really well, so... I don't know what happened. I really need to take an eraser to this poor perspective. It has like glue gunk on it. I think I think I have one of those adhesive eraser things. So I'm definitely going to have to try that out. I do have some close-ups. Yeah, see I'm rubbing my hand on that and those sequins aren't going anywhere. And they look perfect in that little line. So um, here are a couple of close-ups. Oh, I just love that crown. It looks so good. So that is my layout. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. And head over and use my code CRYSTAL15 to save 15% on your sequins for the new year. Remember to wear your crown. Bye.